Good evening, guys. Ken of Tortoise Capital Nightly Strategy Podcast for August 31st, 2023. We're two-thirds of the way through the year. Holy smokes. Where has the time gone? Uh, we will start with um, Alcoa. 30-minute charts. This is the hybrid swing. Uh, did a good job, I think, on the Foundations Q&A today. Kind of put into context the uh, longer term time frames how the different systems kind of overlap the blended monthly rebalancing the weekly asset allocation some swing trading and then uh, using a common frame of reference uh, to inform many different styles and strategies of trading depending on what your objectives are so it was a pretty good discussion. I may actually make that more widely available. It was a pretty good. I thought it was a pretty good job. All right. So uh, Alcoa. Uh, we had the two positions long. Rolled over today. We took the. PSR flip exit and then was able to avoid that harsh sell-off in the last hour. This is why I just say that last half an hour, the last hour is just madness because you get a very orderly move and then when all the rats start leaving the ship like me, boom, bottom just falls right out of it. So that would have actually turned that trade, which was a nice gain, into a negative trade. So as it stands, we get about... Uh, 5R on the first one and 1R on the second one, so a total of about 6R. Uh, AI, no trade. Amazon at a nice run up for my brother. Caterpillar, we closed the two position trade for about 8R. Cliff, no trade. CVS um, initiated a uh, a swing trade. So this is on the 30 minute. And what would we call this entry here? So yesterday, you know, we got that three day sell off that closed here. Today it opened and then sold off here. I'm treating that as a collapsing dragon. And then probably could have had a second position here on a violation of this collapsing dragon. Um, and then in the last hour, the bottom just completely dropped out of that thing. So um, CVS tomorrow could be a big, um, a gainer to the downside, if I say it that way. Uh, Dish Network, no trade. Devon Energy is part of, you know, continuation trade. It was a cot of two. This is just as cot of two as you want with um, you know your swing low, cot of two, PSR flip and go. Closed pretty well. We're about plus 0.5. Uh, it's got to get above today's high to really be interesting. So we'll see. See if there's one more day of goodness in energy. Uh, electronic Arts, uh, it was an intraday sell-off. This was like a, uh, a, slow caught, a slow collapsing dragon. This is where it closed yesterday. It continued to fail. So I put it, the short on standard risk, dragon exit for 2R. It found support right where you would expect it to find support. So don't stick around. And then tomorrow, if the bottom falls out of this, we know how to get short again at 119. Uh, emerging markets. Uh, there was a big gap down, and then uh, after the first hour, so here was the close yesterday. Here's the gap down, and then that first hour was down, and then a new low of the day, so just put the short on, 
and it closed poorly, I think it gets down to here. Good chance it gets down to here tomorrow. So I wanted to be available for that trade. Uh, Ethereum, no trade. Mexico, uh, another one of those trades of the day. So we had a nice long side and exited yesterday just like we're supposed to, just before the close at the PSR. Today, it gaps down, sells off harshly. So at this point, new low of the day, I just got to put the short on. It just smashes its way south, hesitates for a moment, starts another leg down. It's below the resistance, so added a second position, and it closed down here. So without even trying too hard, four, it's 5R on the first one, 3R on the... That turned out to be an 8R trade um, in Mexico, a frog champion, one that we are automatically prepared to trade every day. Tried the same short in um, Brazil. It reversed, so I scratched. It then <coughs> continued to fail, so I tried it again. And because of that weakness in Latin America and Mexico more broadly, I decided to leave that one on overnight with about an R in hand. Intel uh, initiated a emerging dragon. IP closed the three-day swing for about 3R. Uh, real estate, excuse me, uh, initiated a short on the Kata 2. This just felt like uh, it's had an amazing run, a 5% gains from last week. And... Um, I would have expected it to gain today while the market was weakening, but it didn't. So it just started into the winter. So I'm going to speculate on that one. Um, choppy, no trade in regional banks. Exited the two-day Cotta 2 in uh, Mattel. Continuation short side on the collapsing dragon in McDonald's. And that closed really poorly in that last 30 minutes. So there's our risk. And um, I just stuck around. There were 90 minutes left in the session and it did this and closed all the way down here. So that ended up giving us 3R in the last 90 minutes. So why not? Now it's below the collapsing dragon here. So if this fails tomorrow, I will add a position and I think it could get all the way down to here, to that support level. So there's more downside available, I think. Merck, a no trade. It too collapsed in the last half hour. That bears watching. Microsoft, no trade. Uh, marijuana. Now, you had to be ready for this one today. Yesterday, it had a 26% gain. And... There was the gift, and then it held. Today it gapped up, so it's the same trade. Just put it on, standard risk. The thing runs like a scalded ape. Rolls over, take the exit for one, two, three, four, another 5R, and no overnight risk. Uh, that was the least surprising explosion of a move today. It was up another 14%. Uh, NVIDIA, standard two-day Kata 2 for 2R. Two uh, oh, I'm sorry, that was that was uh, Merck. So NVIDIA, I'm sorry. Uh, no trade today, sideways chop. Clean Energy um, initiated the collapsing dragon in Kata 2 short. It closed poorly for 1R. Uh, Rivian. We closed the three position long. I just couldn't take the heat any longer. And it looks like it has crested. You can see now, this is part of that, that whole narrative of what kind of, you know, scenario one from this weekend we said was it, it held support because it did this. And then what we got was one grinding day up, a big up day, yesterday a half of an up day, and then today... It's kind of rolled over and PSAR flipped. So you can almost feel that wave cresting 
and that was the move, you know, for this week, you know, from there to there. Um, you know, 3% move. So would not surprise me to see some profit taking and and whatnot. But as it stands, we've got uh, a critical state here ready to go in either direction. Yeah, and possibility of some buying pressure tomorrow for the dollar cost averagers. Treasuries rolled over too. Uh, Tesla uh, exited the two position uh, emerging dragon swing. Uh, and closed the uh, U.S. deal. Now, it closed really well, but I wasn't going to chase it. So, uh, a very good week, a very good day in the market today. All right, let's look at some sniper trades. Uh, this is Alcoa. So, yesterday's close and the sideways chop. Gap up to here, sold off all the way down to here, and then close there. So you get the OR3. Takes it out to the upside, so we're long with a standard risk box in the yellow. Check or hold. And just a standard exit. plus three. Uh, I take a cot of two. Yeah, during this whole time period, I was focusing on that, I think it was that CVS trade that was running amok and the marijuana trade. So these were all just one position. So here's, you know, your Kata 2. Uh, we get the, one more. Sorry. Yeah, so we get the uh, Kata 2 here for an R. And then the whole thing collapses, and now the whole market started to collapse, so I just, well, why not? Uh, PSR flip and uh, collapsing dragon. Another plus three, and a simple dragon exit near the close of the day. So you get three this way, one, and three that way. That's 7R in Alcoa, and it basically closed where it opened. So that's just noise, right? You can't make money in the noise, right? That's a belief. Believe what you want to believe. Have a reason. Uh, CVS, so the OR3 was large. And we get the uh, we get the drift and the rollover. So short from there. Standard wrist box. Second position. Uh, exit for. About 3R total. Uh, continuation to the downside for another 2R. So that's about 5R in CVS. Just, I mean, you cannot get a more orderly move than that. You just hold your nose and follow the price. Uh, 
Uh, this one is um, marijuana. So here's yesterday's close. Big gap up. There's your OR3. It falls out the bottom, so I, I take the short with a standard risk. Every reason to believe it's just going to come down here, and that's like about a 3R trade. Okay, here's the OR3. But it doesn't, so I scratch. I take the breakout of the OR3 box. There's the 2R battle drill. Sorry. So there's the uh, there's the scratch. There's the breakout from new high of the day. Two R battle drill. Four R battle drill. Six R battle drill. Eight R battle drill, and piece R exit. Uh, another one. R on the Kata 2, another one R on the Collapsing Dragon. So just played in the standard way, there was 16 to 18 R available uh, intraday on marijuana, which was the least surprising move yesterday after its 24% intraday move. Find the movers. All right, here's Luke working the, um, can we consider the SPY on a 30 minute of CD? Just a second. Um, yeah, if it breaks below, so that's the um, 30 minute on SPY. So as I look at that, you know, notice the size of the legs up. You got one, two, big leg there, small leg, smaller leg. Notice how it's starting to roll over. This time it PSR flips. And now I would treat that as a, uh, you know, a collapsing dragon level. So this is tech. You could, you could have gotten short there on a collapsing dragon off of this one. But to me, I think you want to wait to see this price level violated. Call that 449 and then really pile on here. So if it opens inside this range tomorrow I'm, and starting to fall, I'm ready to get short and I'll add a second position there. And then your target is down here. And then if this fails, that's where I would add a third position. Okay. All right, here's uh, Luke on the five minute Aussie with uh, 14 and a half R. There's a piece of our flip. He waits for the Kata 2, first position. Now, what he's doing is getting the. If for his first position, 
he's going to use the PSAR exit as the manager. For additional scoops, he's going to employ the sniper exit. He's using a five minute bar in here, but for these additional positions, he's using a three minute bar for additional entries where he's looking for the R10 to wiggle and then continue. So he's actually accelerating, you know, dialing down to the three minute chart for those entries. So he actually gets a, he gets it early in the turn. So if you look at this on a five minute, you say, well, that almost feels like noise. Like, why don't we wait for it to get up into here? Because on the three minute, that has already uh, given him his re-entry or his, and the same thing here. It's before it even gets above that level of the three minute, it's already entering. And then he takes this as his discretionary exit for those two positions and then the PSAR for his first position. And now he hits the PSAR flip, first position, second position cover with a discretionary exit, sees the Kata 2, first position, second position exit, almost 15R, right by the numbers in the 4X on five minute charts. Hurry up and finish that course, Luke. All right, Brian uh, grinds around a little bit here for about minus 0.8 uh, on the Euro Aussie. Uh, makes up for it in the New Zealand US dollar with a nice trade in here. There's more available with a trailing stop, I think. Uh, Jose framed this correctly for the, um, the SSC and takes the fractional loss or takes a one-hour loss, essentially. That's a good exit. That's all correct. Uh, collapsing Dragon for an R in Brazil. Tries this one. Um, yeah, you might have gotten out in here, I think, instead of here when it hit, hits the PSR flip. Because after eight bars and it doesn't go, you might be able to get a fractional. But that's still a disciplined exit. Uh, gets, gets an R, and then these two... Uh, basically scratch out. Yeah, the Kata 2 failed, so he just stops and reverses and gets his money back. So that, that's good play. Uh, Hamad, uh, two nice trades right off the bat for 0.6. Uh, I love that second one. I like the quick exit here. Uh, good trade here. There's a Kata 2 that's available. McDonald's, I like this could be a stop and reverse. That's a clear short right there. Uh, Microsoft, again, this is one where uh, wait and wait. You're you're executing on the three minute, whereas the thirty minute is showing you that you already got, or the three minute is already showing that that you have a trade. Um, let me get this. So. Yeah, I mean, we could be long inside here, which would be getting us long in here instead of at the very peak. And that looks like the anomaly, and then it fails. Um, so that's a, that. this is where you should be getting short. So we tried long, took a 0.6 loss, recovered, tried long again, it's stopping. On two fails, get short right there, and now you don't. Now this becomes a winning trade instead of a losing trade. And then here is your SSC. Uh, great work on Rivian for 2.3 on that one. Hulk smash. Great job. Yeah, and this trade here. That trade there is that trade.
so really well done. Tesla. Uh, scratch for the day in Tesla. We could have been short here after uh, after three fails on the long side. That should be a stop and reverse. You get paid there. But total net for the day, 1.5. So coming around. Good job. All right, that's everything we got for today. I'll get this published and posted. I'm going to make the other the uh, foundations Q&A available for the subscribers. It was a pretty good discussion of, um, you know, all the different components of core trading and swing trading and how they, how they use relative strength. So it'll be worth your while. I right, take good care. We'll see you tomorrow.